Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to talk about making fast rendering working scenes in SketchUp. So yeah, we're in a bit of a, uh, a scene phase, apparently, talking about how we can use scenes to, uh, you know, automate some of the things you do in SketchUp as you're modeling. So we talked about sections and and some other things. This time I want to talk about, uh, you know, what we would cost, call a fast rendering scene. So there's certain settings in SketchUp that take a little bit more time and a little more processor to put onto your screen. And if you have a set of styles and viewport properties that don't use any of those, you end up with a faster modeling session. So we'll talk about what those are and we're take a look at that right now. All right, so here we have uh, not a fast, and this this is not by no means is it slow. This is a okay size model. There's some entourage. There's quite a bit of geometry, but it's not a huge model by any means. Um, but you can see some of the stuff that we got going on in here. Uh, so there's shadows on the ground. I have reflective materials. I have an environment turned on. Uh, I have profiles. You can see my edges are a little bit thicker than the rest. So. Again, it makes for a beautiful looking model, but it can slow things down sometimes. So in fact, in this one of the things that we'll see is as I start to rotate like this, uh, I, might, I might get to a spot where my shadows disappear and then pop back in. Or uh, again, this is small enough that I'm not having issues with components, but you can see in bigger models, uh, I'll see a little bit of lag when I try to, to move around or edit my model. So, and, and I, I should point out, I'm in 2025, which is the most performant version of SketchUp ever. So this is much better than it's ever been before. But once I start getting a big model, uh, it can slow things down. Not just that, but beautiful as this is, the materials, the shadows, all that, sometimes that stuff can actually get in the way as I model. You guys have seen me do live models. You know that one of my, the way that I like to model more than any other way is with white surfaces. It, it just, it's clean to me. I can see the geometry. There's no issues. So. I'm going to propose here a couple of scenes. One, which is my good looking, you know, beauty scene. We'll call this beauty. Uh, and then another scene, which is going to take me into my kind of working uh, setup. So let's let's talk about that. So let, let, we'll take this one right now before we do anything else. We're going to say, okay, this right now is my beauty scene. I want, I want to hold on to this. I want this to be uh, something I can jump back to. So I'm going to go right now up to scenes. And I'm gonna create a new scene, just like we've been doing in these recent videos. I'm not gonna leave everything turned on for scenes. In fact, I'm gonna turn off most of it. So I'm gonna turn off, turn off. I'm gonna turn off till I get down to style and fog. I'm gonna leave style and fog, shadow settings, and environment settings on, and turn everything else off. And I'll go ahead and create that new scene. This is an update to the style, so I'm gonna say go ahead and create that, do it. And I'm gonna rename this. We're gonna we just called it beauty. We're gonna stick with that. This is my beauty scene. So again, because I didn't turn a bunch of these other things off, I can jump to this scene, which I mean, there's only one, so it's not jumping too much. But you can see it's re-rendering the scene from this, only these properties. So it doesn't matter where my camera is or anything like that. Um, now, that's awesome. Let's talk about what it takes to make a fast scene. So I wanna create a scene where Drawing to the screen happens instantaneously. Nothing, so you can see right there as I rotate, see how my shadow disappears and comes back? That's again, it's just rewriting, uh, figuring based on where my model is, how the shadows fall. So it's it just takes a second. But let's create a scene where that's not an issue. Let's get everything cleared out. So we're gonna just come down here. Uh, let's start with styles. Why not? All right, so first thing I was talking about was edges. So edges are good, I like seeing edges. Edges make editing easier, but profiles can take just a half a beat to go through and figure out where profiles every time are, are supposed to be every time I move my model around, every time I orbit. So I'm gonna turn profiles off. So you can see, there we go. We got now all edges are the same size. There's no thicker ones that are on, on the sides. And then let's go into our faces and I'm gonna change the, so again, this is the way I would do it. I don't, I'm already hearing the comments, but the beautiful materials, they are beautiful. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down to just white surfaces. There we go, so we still have transparency, 
we still have, you know, I can still see everything in here, but it's all white. It's all just painted one material, quick, easy. Um, in fact, I may even, again, to make this as fast as possible, I may come to my transparency and make that faster also. That's gonna just, again, make it the quickest possible style. I'm also gonna turn off as much as it pains me. You guys know I love ambient occlusion. I think it just, it makes my models look so much better, but I'm gonna turn that off too. Everything, I just want this clean as possible style. Looking good. Um, all right, I'm gonna go through here, environments. I'm gonna turn my environments off. So there's no interaction with the environments. See my sky dome went away. I just got this, the plain SketchUp background. Looks good. Uh, then the only other thing I got in here is shadows. I'm gonna turn my shadows off. So now I have what I would call almost the cleanest, easiest thing to work in. The only problem with this view is because I turned profiles off. So any geometry that's rounded over or anything like that kind of disappears. So this right here, I don't like that. Um, so a way that I do model regularly is to come into view and turn on hidden geometry. Not objects, but just geometry. That's going to give me dashed lines in those spots where everything's smoothed over, where I would rely on a profile. So this right here might be my quickest, most performant way to work inside of SketchUp. This is gonna go fairly fast. This is gonna render quickly. Um, I like this, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna commit to it. This is my modeling, fast modeling scene. So I'm gonna go back up to scenes. Again, with just style, fog, and shadow settings turned on, I'm gonna hit plus. All right, create a new scene. And this one, I'm gonna call modeling. And now, if I flip back and forth between these two, you can see, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. And I'm doing it from one view, but obviously I could be in here I could be in here, you know, uh, let's go, let's go inside. Let's, let's head in here and I could be working on this, this desk right now. Maybe I'm, I don't know, moving around the information thing or something. And uh, let's see, what, what does it look like in my beauty scene? I can flip over, give it just a second to apply all the stuff. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. But I want to make some more changes. I'm going to hop back over to modeling and uh, move my computers or whatever. But this is the just, it's just a super fast way to jump in. And again, not everybody likes modeling with all this turned off. This is like, this is cutthroat. This is the most stuff turned off I could possibly turn off to make it as fast as possible. There's probably somewhere in between that you'll get a very, very performed modeling session. But this is going to get me the quickest, quickest, fastest renders to the screen, uh, most performance and I can hop to it with just a single click of the mouse. So I don't know, it was never intentional. I didn't think, oh, scenes are so cool and they're underused and let's talk about a bunch of ways to do different kinds of working scenes, but that's what happened. I think this is the last one. I don't have any other ideas of things that can tie to scenes. Maybe you guys do. Maybe you can think of a spot that uh, I, didn't, I didn't include in scenes, but this was, I think probably where we should have started, having a working scene versus that beauty scene uh, and being able to click back and forth between them. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a worthwhile thing to have. And something we talked about, we didn't really talk about with scenes, you can save those into your template too. So you could actually have a default template that already has those scenes set up, um, whether they be these scenes or the section scenes or any of those other scenes we've talked about. You could actually make that part of your template. Maybe that'll be the next video is how to set up a template with scenes. Keep the scene thing going um, if that's what you guys want. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, do leave us a comment down below. What do you think about these scenes? Is there a way to use scenes that I've skipped that you guys need to let me know about? And would you like to see how to set up a template so that these scenes are already part of it? Let me know. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.